Hey there everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you can join me today. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created me. Uh, the Toon version of me, that is. I hope you guys find this tutorial useful. Enjoy! So first things first, in case you haven't done it yet, you need to download Snapchat onto your phone. Once you've done that, you can start taking some snapshots of yourself and take some selfies from the front, uh, making sure that you're in a neutral pose. And then also I'm taking some side profile pictures as well, which I'm going to use later on when I start modeling my face. Great, once we've taken all our snapshots and we're happy with the ones we've taken, we now got to download the add-on for Snapchat, which is called Cartoon Face Lens. Uh, this is what the app looks like, so find it, download it, and add it on. And this particular add-on will turn your realistic picture into a Toon style picture. There we go, a Toon photo of myself. To create the 3D model, you are going to need either Character Creator 4 or you could use Character Creator 3. You are, however, also going to need the additional plugin called Headshot. Headshot is a plugin that actually takes the image we've just taken and converts that to a 3D model for us. So Headshot does come at a cost. You can, however, try the trial version. Uh, the trial version obviously comes with some limitations, so just make a note of that before you continue. So step four is to open up CC3, or CC4 in my case, and then load in a cartoon base. Now, because I want to make a Toon version of myself, I highly recommend this particular Toon figure set. It covers all the basic Disney Pixar shapes and styles, and it also comes with its own skins and clothing as well. So a worthwhile investment and a good pack to get. Okay, so I'm going to be using Stevia as my base character. Cool, now let's open up Headshot, the plugin, and you'll find the plugin under the Plugins tab, which is on top of the screen. So we're going to work with Auto Mode, not the Pro Mode, so let's click that. Now, let's drag and drop our Snapshot Mugshot into the Headshot window, if that makes any sense. Boom, there we go. Now I'm going to select the Male from the Body Type options, and then Clean Rough for my Skin Type options, and let's hit Generate. Ah, so this warning that popped up now is basically just telling me that I'm working in iClone 8 and that if I'm going to continue, it's not going to be compatible with my old iClone 7 version and I'm okay with that. Now we've got to wait a few minutes um, and there we go. There's my preliminary character, which from the onset looks a lot darker than I would have thought. But no worries, the auto mode allows us to change the eye and the skin color quite easily. Uh, I'm going to focus on the skin first. I'm going to drag and drop the image of me onto a plane inside CC4. I'm just going to use that as a reference to make sure that I get the shape and the color of my skin right. So the skin color is uh, yeah similar, but my body is way too realistic. Uh, and I want to be a Toon, so uh, let's solve that quickly. Uh, we're going to use one of the body morphs for one of our Toon characters. That's part of that pack I spoke about early on. And we're going to just slide this up. All right, the Toon skin is not quite right, so I'm going to use the material editor to fix that right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the head, the body, the arm and the leg textures at the same time and I'm just going to mess around with the brightness and some of the other sliders to try and get the color just right. Let's try that. Hmm, okay that's not going to work. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to try one of the other Toon characters skin textures. Maybe that will look a bit better. Yep, there we go. This looks a lot better. It's a clean skin and I can definitely work with that. So much better. Okay, now don't forget to look at the side profile of your character as well, just to make sure you're getting the shape of everything correctly. So I'm going to do some shape changes here, especially on the nose. Now I'm going to mess around with some of the other sliders just to see how closely I can match the original image. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in my original image just to make sure that I'm getting a very accurate comparison of myself. Okay, which leads us to the next step, which is to replace the painted eyebrows and the painted hair with some real ones. So the eyebrows needs to be painted out, um, and I've done this in a number of other tutorials. So for those of you who've watched any of my others, you'll know how I do this. I normally take my image into Sketchbook and then I literally just wipe out the eyebrows that's been painted on. Be gone, ugly eyebrows. There we go. So the brows are gone, but the bump texture is still there. And to do this, you gotta basically do the same thing. You can literally erase it inside Sketchbook as well.
All right, now let's replace the brows and find a more appropriate hairstyle for myself. I'm going to start with the hair. How about this classic taper one here? Yeah, that looks more like my hair. Let's just change the color quickly. Great stuff, that works. Now to find the correct eyebrows. Let's try, let's try the male sword shape here. Hey, that's perfect. I'm happy. We're nearly there. Now for the next step, which is to find the right clothing and the right accessories. So I'm going to start off with the spectacles because that's a big part of who I am. Uh, no, that one doesn't work. Hmm, maybe this, this one could work. Let's, let's stick with this one so long. Now the shirt. Here's a closed collar. No, not really. Let's try it in blue. Okay, no, the shirt doesn't work. Uh, let's scroll down. Here we go. Open collar long sleeve. I think that one will look a lot better. Yep, perfect. Now we're going to add the blue checker texture in. And I actually found this particular texture on Google by Googling it. There we go. The texture's right, but the size of the checks are very wrong. So I'm going to just mess around with the UV settings to make the checks a bit smaller to match my shirt. Uh, yeah, looks like an 8 by length and an 8 width. Uh, yep, that tiling seems to work perfectly. There we go. Perfect. It actually looks like my shirt. Perfect. Now the last step is to get me some pants. Can I find some pants, please? Okay, I'm going to go with a pair of slacks. The scocky color one. It looks like it'll suit me and my style. There we go. I like it. And finally, I need some leather shoes to match this cool outfit. And that's it. My model is done. I just want to give myself a nice face profile so I can animate my face better. I'm going to grab one of these ones that I created myself. It's a custom face profile. If you don't know how to create your own custom face profiles, I did a tutorial on that. So check out my, my YouTube channel to have a look at that. There we go. I'm all done. Yeah. Now to do a quick test on the body. Yes, I'm finally ready for my first movie gig. Uh, hopefully I'll star in the next 3D animated movie by Disney. But let me start practicing my dance steps here. I'm so happy to be alive. I feel like doing the dance of joy. There we go. All right, guys, enough of me making fun. Thanks so much for joining me in today's tutorial. I hope that you guys would love to join me again. So if you do, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification so you can notified when I release my next tutorial. Thanks so much for all of those of you who have subscribed. I appreciate it. It makes all the effort so much more worth it. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Cheers. Bye-bye.